and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. someone. No, oh, sorry, Kendo. You're here to guard the fort, not play games? Uh, yes, sir, sir. All's well up here, huh? Oh, shucks. It's quieter than a flea's hiccup. Well, with what we're guarding in our minds, we can't be too careful. <laughs> ah, the Widget's Fortress. Once I break in, I'll get what I need to finish He-Man once and for all. Forward! In the name of destruction! Hi, Squinch! Oh, hello there, Laura. What are you doing up here? You are my boyfriend, remember? I thought you might be lonesome all by yourself. Oh, I don't have time to get lonesome. No, indeedy, no. A guard's gotta be on his toes all the time, always ready to react to the least little sound. Yeah! It's a whole gang of monsters! With Skeletor in the lead! Oh, Skeletor! Oh, yikes, we gotta do something like lately. We gotta. Like sounding the alarm! Yes, yeah, like sounding the alarm! <laughs> Come. What are we gonna do? This grease will slow them down! Ah! Hey, pretty slick work there, Laura. Squinch, don't just stand there. They'll try the south wall next. I'll get them. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice kitty, kitty. Fools, do I have to do everything for you? Oh, Skeletor is breaking through. Our only hope is to alert our old friend He-Man. I pray he sees our signal. Good to get out of the palace now and then, right, Cringer? Oh, all this exercise is making me sleepy. Well, 
Well, just be thankful you don't have to work as hard as that slow toe. Come on, boy. You can make it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No time to rest now, cat. By the power of Grey Skull. Did you, uh, lose something? He-Man! There you go, fella. Good as new. Thanks, He-Man. I don't know what we had done without you. I'm glad I could help. Have a safe trip. Keep a sharp lookout, Cat. We might find others who need our help today. I see something already. That's the widget signal. They only use that in the worst emergencies. To widget woods. Hurry. Little friends, our master wants a word with you. Kendo, step forward. Skeletor has come for you. You have no business here. You go away and leave us alone. I shall, little commander, as soon as you give me your Corridite. Corridite? Never. Very well. Perhaps my pet Panthor will put you in a more reasonable state of mind. Let's see you pick on someone your own size, Skullface. He-Man! He-Man! Snap the whip, eh? Merman, let's take him from both sides. You think you're handy with that sword, eh? Well, try this. Anything you can pitch, I can hit back. No! Bless you, He-Man. Someday I'll have the power to destroy you. Someday! Thanks, He-Man. I thought we were doomed. What was Skeletor after, anyway? Our Corridite, but he didn't get any. Corridite? That's what the sorceress fashioned this harness from. It helps add to my power. It's too powerful for us to use, so we keep what little we find hidden in our minds. Yeah, deep down where no one's gonna find it. Well, I hope you're right, Squinch. I hate to think what would happen if Skeletor got his hands on it. Don't, half wits, bunglers, brainless idiot. 
idiots. You couldn't even beat a motley group of gnomes. Ah, but Skeletor, it was He-Man who... He-Man? Always He-Man! <laughs> if you had gotten your wretched hands on the widget's Coridite, He-Man would be in my power now. <laughs> Get out of my sight! Morons! <laughs> As usual, you overreact, Skeletor. How else can I act when I'm surrounded by such fools? If I could fashion the widget's coronite into an amulet, it would work with my own dark powers, giving me the added strength to destroy He-Man. True. <laughs> but what you need is a clever ally to get it for you. Widgets will never suspect my real identity. Once they take me into their confidence, the Corridite will be ours. <laughs> For your sake, this had better work. Don't worry. Those kind-hearted fools would never turn away a girl in distress. Right, Panther? <laughs> What's that? Hey, Skeletor's mean kitties after some poor gal. for saving me. Oh, that's all right, miss. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, what is your name? I'm Nadira. I was walking out in the forest when I got lost. Then that horrible beast started chasing me. Well, don't worry. You're safe here. But I was traveling with my family when I got lost. What if I never see them again? Why, we know the forest like we know our own minds. We'll find her parents, won't we? Thank you. Squint, you just stay here and take good care of Miss Nadira. <laughs> Will do, Kendo. Don't worry, Missy. Kendo will find your folks. <laughs> Hey, hey, maybe this will cheer you up. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, we got a whole mind full of them. Really? Oh, I'd love to see them. Yeah, how do you like those, eh? Oh, they're beautiful. But what's behind that door? No, no, sorry. Sorry, we don't allow nobody back there. It's too risky. Oh, what does a brave, strong guard like you have to be scared about? Well, you gotta promise not to touch anything. We call it Corridite. We don't have much, but, well, if, if you use it right, it can really pack a wallop. Ah! At last! Hey, you promised! <laughs> <laughs> Evil Lynn, you little fool! You've just sealed He-Man's doom, and your own as well! <laughs> Squidge! Something's wrong! Come on! The witches are coming back! 
but they won't stop me. and evil limbs seek to duplicate He-Man's mighty power. This must not be. It's Zoar. He-Man, evil Lin has stolen the Witch's Corridite. Even now, Skeletor is shaping it in the files of Arcano Cave. Skeletor has the Witch's Corridite? There's no time to lose. Of all the stupid things to do, leading a stranger an enemy into our minds. Squidge didn't know she was an enemy, Kando. That's no excuse. Well, you're right. It is no excuse. And I'm gonna get our Corridite back. Wait, where are you going? To Volcano Cave. That's the only place Skeletor can melt it. Corridite is hot enough. I'll mold it into the image of my own breastplate. When worn against my skin, it will add to my strength a hundred times over, making me mighty enough to crush He-Man. That's a pretty big boast, Skeletor. Would you care to prove it? He-Man, you mind the Corridite. I'll stop him. Demon of Stone, come forth. Your mistress commands. Gesture, the spell will be complete. Now I have the power. Come face me, He Man. Power against power. As you seem to be tied up. Squidge, come on! You! You! Fool, you'll never defeat me. I have your power, too. The only real power comes from inside, Skeletor. From courage, honor, and other things you wouldn't understand. Oh, boy. Brave words, He-Man. We'll see if they save you the next time we meet.
thank you again for all your help. Well, if it hadn't been for me, you wouldn't have gotten into trouble to begin with. Well, don't worry, Squinch. You're not the first to fall for the charms of a pretty face. Oh, I'll tell you, He-Man. Oh, I'm through with women for good. Oh, you are, huh? No, I didn't mean you, Laura. I mean pretty women. What? No, oh, uh, you're pretty, but, uh, uh, for one of the guys. <laughs> oh, for one of the guys, huh? <laughs> oh. In today's story, you saw how the widgets were fooled by Evil Lynn's disguise. They learned that bad things can be made to look good, and why we should always be careful and question everything that doesn't seem right. But it works both ways, and that's why the saying you can't judge a book by its cover is so important. What it means is that appearances can be deceiving, and you shouldn't judge books or people by the way they look. It's what's inside that really counts.